Okay, so you've heard about automation, digital transformation, robotic process automation, all these buzzwords, but the fact is, but what actually is a bot or robot? So in this video, we talk about what a bot actually is and the, and the purpose of what a bot is for. We'll take a look at what a bot does, how it works, what it looks like, and how to build one. Once you get your head around robotic process automation and what it is and how you can use bots as virtual assistants, then you will start to see the massive impact that this technology can bring to you and your business and your work in life. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Tony and this is Intelligent Automation Simplified. I'm all about simplifying automation for business leaders and professionals like you who want to level up their knowledge. So I want you to be feel empowered to optimize your business and discover new technologies in an accelerated way. So if you're looking to accelerate your learning curve, future-proof your career, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I release new videos like this one. So what is a bot or robot? Uh, a process robot or bot is software that automates a process. It's like a virtual assistant that does all the odd jobs that you don't want to do. So if you have a process that you'd rather hand off to someone like an intern or an apprentice, perhaps that's something that could be automated instead. But it's not just a straightforward and simple task. It's any kind of task that's tedious, repetitive, that takes a lot of your time. As long as it's, a, it's on a process that can be programmed with predetermined decision points and it has some kind of logic to it, then that's something that can be automated. For example, a robot could easily fill out a form using data that has been predetermined, but it can't work out if a customer was happy or sad. Automation is seen as something that could save us a lot of time, which is correct, but it's not just that. It can actually reduce errors. It continues working outside of office hours. And you can also use the robot to track data for analysis or insight purposes. You may want to say, so how many customers asked for purple shoes on Wednesdays? What was our most popular holiday book in, in April? So how does robots actually work? So we've established that it's this software that you give it processes to automate, but how does it know what to do? So what you need to do is you have to map the steps and the actions that you want the robot to do step by step exactly where it clicks and what it types and the decision logic when it comes to a decision point. For example, if the customer is married, send form A. If the customer is not married, send form B. Once you've defined, once you've mapped out the process on the studio, you've created all the decisions and the robot knows exactly the different steps it needs to do. Then you just create a list of the tasks. For example, you want the robot to log into the system, a thousand customers details and copy that into Excel. So this is what the system would look like and you just press play and it just loops through until it's finished. Great, so let's open up the website. Okay, so it's logged in correctly. Extracting the data. Looking for all the WI5s. Okay, almost done here. Beat. It's like an invisible hand typing and clicking on buttons. It can open applications on your desktop, it can go to a website and log in. It can even pull data from multiple places and compile it into a central location for you. Okay, great, so what actually does it look like? So here are some examples of what a robot actually looks like. This is what's called the studio. This is where the automated steps are built. Pretty simple, really. It's just dragging and dropping different actions into a map 
and the robot will go one by one, one step after the next, doing what you've told it to do. And then you just create a loop and it can and it keeps going back around again until it's finished the work that you've provided it. And the great thing about automation, it works in the background, so you hardly see it. You, some automation, you can have it on your, on your desktop. Most robots operate in the cloud, away from human view. If you're getting value from this video, if you could just hit that like button, that would really help me out to bring more videos just like this one. Okay, so it's really easy to get started at building your own automated robot. So I'll add some links in the in the description below. You just go to the RPA vendors website and there's few there's a few to choose from. You can download their free community edition and then you just launch that app. And then as you can see here, we just pull different steps into the map. And then we have to do a bit of configuring for each step. So we have to tell the bot what to, where to find, where to find certain things like where to find Excel or how to access the website or what button on the web page it needs to click on. Then you can add a decision point and you add a loop as well. And then you press play and it runs. It is very, it actually is just as simple as it sounds. And there is a lot of training that you'd find on your on the RPA vendors website, which has some basic training on how to build a bot and how to navigate around the RPA studio. So, okay, now let's see what happens when you press play. Okay, well, it's done here. So as you can see, the robot is completing these tasks in a flash. So this process took an hour to build, but if I was doing this every day, it would probably take me an hour a day just to do this pro just to do this process. So by just building this bot, I've actually saved myself that 20 hours a month. So I can go and do something else. Sometimes the old ways are the best. Okay, thanks for watching this video. And if you're loving these videos, I'd really love if you could tap that like button and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And if you've got any further questions about what I've discussed today, leave them in the comments box. I'd like to get back to all your, all your comments. I'll put some links below to videos that you're gonna find really useful, like getting started in automation, how to find processes to automate, and check out and make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this playlist as I'll be bring you more useful insights to get you off to a great start with automation. Okay guys, you take care. See you soon.